Hello learners, in this tutorial I am going to explain how to load your Azure Blob Storage Excel data in the uh, into Azure SQL service through the Azure Data Factory. So uh, first of all I will show you how to upload your Excel data into the Blob Storage then uh, I will show you how to create a Azure pipeline to load your data. So first of all I will create a blob storage Azure storage account uh, I'm going to create a blob storage to create blob storage you can click on the blob container then I will create a container for this blob storage src Excel it should be lowercase yeah src excel that is my uh, container name then i will click on the uh, create button then uh, i will upload my sample excel file into this uh, blob container browse this file and d drive i have that sample excel file then I will click on the upload button to upload this file. Okay, successfully upload my blobs. Then I can close this window. And if you want to get more details, you can click on that. From that, you can get the URL, the last modified creation time, and other valuable information. So uh, we have uploaded our excel data into the azure blob storage now uh, i will open my data factory uh, this is my data factory so uh, now i will show you how to uh, create that simple pipeline to get that excel data into the uh, azure sql server so first of all we have to create the data set for azure blob storage so i will click on this button under data set and create a data set so select the azure and blob so i have to select this azure blob storage button then we have to click on the create button so under blob storage i have the excel file if you have that delimited text or json or xml or whatever the files you can select in this example i have used the excel file so i will click on this excel button and click on the continue uh, my uh, data set name will be uh, excel data set then my link services i'm using i'm going to create a new uh, link server okay so uh, to create new link server you have to click on the new button then you have to give the uh, link service name azure blob storage to i will give azure blob storage excel then uh, you have to give the uh, integration runtime then authentication key uh, after that you have to click the relevant subscriptions as well as storage account name okay then you can click on the test connection button you can see connection successful it means successfully we have given the informations for the link service then you have to click on the create button okay after that uh, you have to uh, give the uh, properties of that data set so you have to give the uh, container uh, name as well as the uh, subdirectory if there is and you have to give the uh, file name so again i will go to that storage account and i will select storage browser or else you can click on the blob storage then my uh, container name will be src excel then i will so i will give that name here src excel then uh, what is the file name sales store.excel sx sales underscore store.xlsx so that is my uh, excel file name i think the file extension is wrong so uh, exact details we can 
take from there now you can see the exact excel uh, sheets you can see in the drop down so i am uh, selecting that order sheet name then uh, we can upload that order data sheet into that azure sql server table so i will click on the ok button okay now you can see excel data set has created so all the informations we have given so uh, after that i will create a new pipeline uh, my pipeline name will be uh, globe to sql so i will give this name then uh, i am taking the copy data component from the move and transform section then i go to that source area then i will give my uh, data sets a uh, data set which is recently created this is my excel data set is the recently created data set i will put for the source area okay so at the end you can see yeah if you want you can preview your data from here then you can see the data in the blob storage like this you can preview your data in the blob storage excel sheet after that i will go to the sync area then you have to create the uh, data set for the sync area for that i am going to create a azure sql server data set so i am going to uh, select azure sql database and click on the continue button then I'm, I will create a new link service for that. You can see uh, my uh, link service name is Azure SQL Server Database. So I will rename as the uh, blob blob to Azure SQL Database link service. Then I'm using the auto uh, integration runtime as the auto resolve integration runtime. Then I will select my uh, subscriptions and the server name will be uh, data cafe svr01 then i will select my database name data cafe db then authentication type is sql authentication so i will give my admin username for the username field name will be data cafe admin then i will give the password here okay then you can click on the test connection button successfully uh, the connection is successful then you can create this link server okay after that we have to create the uh, table structure in your sql server but uh, when we are uploading uh, we can create that uh, sql structure so simply you have to click on this edit button then you have to give the schema name here like dbo and i will give table name as sales store this is my table name then uh, you have to click on the uh, none the import schema is none because already uh, we don't have any structure in my uh, destination side so i will put as none and click on the ok button okay after that uh, we have to put that uh, table option is auto created table then we have to go to this mapping sheet so there is no any table so no need to do anything with this mapping so simply create this auto create table option then you can publish those uh, changes into this live server like this you can see successfully we have published all the changes into the live server then you can trigger your job like this so i will click on the trigger now button and it will execute like this now you can see if you go to the uh, monitor sections my uh, 
जो है सक्सेसफुली एक्सिक्यूटेड सो इफ यू गो टू द डेटा बेस सो आई हैव क्रिएट द डेटा बेस यर सो इफ यू ओपन दिस क्वरी एडिटर यू कैन सी अंडर टेबल्स सक्सेसफुली क्रिएटेड दैट टेबल सेल स्टो इफ यू गेट दी टॉप थाउजेंड रिकॉर्ड्स यू कैन सी द इंफॉर्मेशन इज अवेलेबल एज पर द एक्सेल शीट विच वी स्टो इन दी ग्लोब स्टोरेज सो लाइक वाइज वी कैन डू एनी नंबर ऑफ एक्सेल्स डेटा इन टू द एशर स्क्यूएल सर्वर Uh, once you store in the blob storage so i think you have clear understanding about how to get blob storage excel data into the azure sql server through the uh, azure data factory so if you have any questions you can put on the comment section thank you